Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as the Aromatic Citican Assembly, and we are working our way towards eventually becoming fully synthetic. Now, uh, we did uh, just uh, colonize some new worlds, so let's go ahead and take a look to see if there's anything else that we want to build here. Um, actually, I think we will move you here. And No, I'm going to hold off on actually building anything. Um... But I think I will queue up some more, some more droid uh, synthetics. All right, uh, we did get a bunch of uh, aliens moved to this world, so I'm building a frontier clinic and I'm upgrading the uh, ship shelter, so that's good. And not much else going on there. Uh, I did just trade in some energy credits. And I think with what we've got, I think I'm going to ask for assistance in research. Uh, plus 15% uh, for everything, so that will help. It should uh, produce a lot more. And then queue up some more battleships. Okay, got a got our new colony down here. Let's go ahead and build our spaceport and clear up the tile blockers. All right, we're now uh, making positive energy now that we're not actually colonizing anymore. And queue up some um, some more robots. Okay, uh, I did start terraforming on these two worlds, so let's go ahead and covert infiltrate these guys. That should help. I suppose I could build uh, habitats in worlds like this, in systems like this that I want to keep for myself. Oh, you know what? I bet one of the reasons why you can't uh, um, build a ring world in a system that has colonizable worlds is to protect them, protect these guys. <laughs> it would be kind of hilarious to uh, uh, build something around there and and slaughter them. Tile blocker clear. Construction and I suppose I could just queue up a bunch more synthetics as well. I mean, if that's primarily what this world is going to be for. Yeah, losing energy again. Oh no! Oh no! It did go there! Yeah, I think it needs to be killed in a, a system with a white star, or a blue star, which is problematic. Do I have anything with a blue star around here? Well, if it goes there... Reports are coming in that the headquarters of the Mutagen Merchant Guild in the Mintaka system has been pulverized by unknown forces. A handful of surviving Mutagen Merchant Captains have scattered across the galaxy. Unfortunately, this means an end to all produ production of the prized Mutagen Crystals. We will no longer have access to this strategic resource. Oh. Well, shoot. Yeah, that is a, uh, that is a permanent loss to, uh, to the game. I don't know if I... I don't... Well, my fleet might be able to do it. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll take this for now. Hmm. 
You know, uh, what do I have here? I can... Let's not do that. Here. Let's produce a Corvette. Total It'll get destroyed very quickly. But we may be able to get some information out of this thing. Construction complete. It'll be extremely expensive to uh, destroy it as well. Because, uh, I mean, to replace the ships that it, it'll cost, essentially. Very expensive. So I fully expect to lose, like, at least 10k. That's assuming that I can even win. Ooh, good, kinetic ba uh, batteries. Kinetic batteries are good. I like them. That'll help. Tile blocker clear. Spectre. All right. It has moved down here. Yeah, this is uh, purple. I don't think this is the right thing. I need to find a blue star. Let's actually build that here. My ship is going to get pulverized very quickly. It goes into a system with a blue star. Let's see. Uh, well, it says it's blue. I don't know if I want to risk that. I want to try it in a system like that. Alright, Bindak. Fa uh, the Bindak, Phase 1, Infiltration. Our initial infiltration cells are in place on the surface of bin the Bindak, and their, cover their cover stories are in the process of being established. Aside from a few incidents, the Mirin disguises seem to be holding up well. Excellent. Alright, capacitor fields. We'll get the uh, Curator Exploration Lab. And Habitability plus 5%. And we can get another habitability, plus 5%. Although, artificial moral codes are pretty cheap. Let's see. Yeah, that's fine. build some more. Fleet destroyed. <laughs> yeah, that didn't last long. Uh, 650... Is it 6501 hertz emitter? Not sure, but that's kind of the uh, the key, um, and I don't know if there's a way to figure that out. All right, let's uh, let's go hit up uh, the curator lab. Yeah, that really sucks. What did we lose? Uh, happiness plus five percent. All right, so that was the uh, the ethics one, the governing ethics attraction plus ten uh, percent. It's kind of a shame. 
Holy cow, that was quick. Uh, well, I guess it's just one. I thought there were more. Go ahead and do that. All right, so curator guys, uh, tell us about the mysteries of the universe. Tell us about the wraith. Spectral wraiths are disturbing creatures, if they are creatures at all. We consider them a rare and extraordinarily efficient natural disaster. What about the blue wraiths? Oh my lord, I am way low on stuff. I need to trade for energy. I don't know what the hell happened. Tell us about the Wraith. What about the Blue Wraith? Now, the Blue Wraiths have a frequency of 6 6501 hertz. Their light synchronizes with both Class A and Class B stars. Their ability to avoid conventional weaponry is weakened in systems with Blue Giants. Okay, so A and B. That's a Class A. And is this a Class B? That is a Class B. Okay. Uh... Make a couple Corvettes, please. Class A star. We'll see if we can take this out. Complete. Oh, figures. Pop moved away from the Galactic Stock Exchange. Alright, let's do that. That should be giving me plus 10% uh, energy credits. is, I am still hemorrhaging. Oh, well, my ships are, are out of port. That's right. I am kind of dumb. Alright, we're going to find this thing. Otherwise, it's just going to ravage through our space if it uh, comes down this far. Construction complete. All right, let's uh, trade for some more energy credits. I thought I had, like, 4,000 when I bought the uh, stuff. Okay, there's the Spectre. It is in a Class K star. That is... Right, well, there's a Class A star there. Let's hop into that. Moving to the... Oh, good. Okay, it is, it is moving to uh, the system that we want to fight it in. All right. I mean, good, quotation marks, marks. You know what? Probably a good idea to have my army go home. <laughs> I don't think it should be in there. Construction complete. There it goes. Let's go attack. Tile blocker cleared. This is going to be bad. This is going to be very, very bad. I don't know whether it's considered uh, armored or shielded. I don't think it's shielded. I imagine it's armored. 
I got 50k, though. 50k can usually take out most of these uh, monsters. Here goes nothing. Alright, Blue Wraith. Wraith. That's... I don't know why it's doubled up there, but... It is hitting us before we can hit it. So that is fun. That is doing a lot of damage already. Okay, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at its hit points go down. Destruction of the Wraith. The haunting creature born from light pulses is finally neutralized. Although it remained until the end a ghost among the stars and in many ways a mystery, the process by which our ships managed to destroy it was observed by the most pessimistic of our scientists, who argued that it would be impossible. To understand exactly how our fleets completed this seemingly insurmountable task, these scientists have meticulously documented the previously unseen properties of light and energy that the Wraith put on bright display today. The light has gone out. Uh, we get Spectral Residue Studies modifier added, giving the following effects. Uh, energy Weapon Damage plus 5%, Energy Credits plus 10%, and Research Speed Physics plus 5%. Well, that's pretty awesome. The light has gone out. Alright. And we really didn't actually lose that much. Uh, seven destroyers and one battleship. I'm okay with that. Go ahead and get all of those together, and you go home. Uh, it doesn't actually leave any debris, unfortunately. There it goes, disintegrating. Construction complete. All right, so we got it in the right uh, system. So that's pretty good. Okay, this world is terraformed. Let's go ahead and colonize that from... Yeah, I guess here. That's fine. And that's alone. All right. I can't really afford to uh, do anything else, but we did get... Uh, we are getting even more energy credits, so that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. I guess we'll go ahead and build that. Construction complete. That can be upgraded. Uh, do I want to get rid of the minerals here? Yeah, probably. I need, I do really need more energy, so. Research complete. Okay, we've got uh, the Curator Exploration Lab. Uh, we can get the Curator Archaeology Lab. Go ahead and get access to both of those. So that uh, energy credits plus 10%, that's pretty awesome. Although our operatives on the surface of Vibindak now number in the thousands, the progress of our operation has been slow. An infiltration cell recently attempted to overthrow the government of one of the planet's major nations in a violent coup, only to have the attempt foiled and most of the cell members killed. Another cell fortunately managed to retrieve their bodies before the Miran authorities could identify them as aliens, but this is a significant setback. Oh, do I have three, uh... Yeah, I do have three Zero. That's right. I just noticed that one over there and forgot that, uh... Someone had traded me for some not too long ago. Okay. So. We've got another, uh, habitat. 
Let's go with you. And... I can build one there, and I can build one here. So let's go ahead and do that. Of course, this is costing me a lot of uh, influence. And I am very low. That humiliate doesn't help. Construction complete. Admiral Larian has died. Aww. Well, <laughs> that immediately made a, made us start to lose uh, uh, energy credits. All right, Arden Kell, you can get in charge there, and we will go hire a new admiral. So aggressive fire rate plus eight percent, or we can get some uh, synthetics, which is fire rate plus five percent. Um. Actually, since Cyborg is fire rate plus 15%, uh, I, want, I, want, I think we want uh, you. You shall be the new Larian. That is a pretty impressive uh, um, additional fire rate. Also, I've got a new leader. Well, not a new leader. Uh, I mean, a idle governor. Do I have any sectors not uh, being governed? No, I do not. <sighs> Once again, God damn it! I hate you guys so much. Fix your mineral issue. I mean, I've got them set to mineral s focus. All right, let's uh, let's set them off, and then set them back. See if maybe that makes a difference. I mean, they're planning to build a mineral processing plant. They're planning to build a defense army. Screw the defense army. Screw the military stations. You're on... You're on mi uh, mineral focus. Focus on minerals until you're positive. God. I mean, look at all of these uh, energy credits that I could be getting right now. If not for this crappy sector. That's just being awful. I hate you guys so much so awful. Research complete. And I just don't have the uh, influence to uh, hop in there and, and do something about it, really. Uh, synthetic thought patterns. That's fairly cheap. Uh, let's get the uh, bio labs. Let's see. Happiness plus 15%. 10, 10, Construction 5, 5. Complete. Construction complete. 65% there. That's pretty good. Construction complete. Construction complete. Incoming transmission. I hope you're about to offer me some, some, uh, some stuff, whoever you are, because uh, I could use it. Uh, minerals. I would... R well, I'm actually uh, making quite a bit of uh, energy now. Sure, that's fine. Construction complete. Alright, you just moved here. Uh, we'll get a symbol of unity. That can be upgraded. And Governor Nancy has died at the age of 146. Aww. Let's see. Army veterans are awful. Let's see. Synthetics are clear blocker cost and time, minus 10%. Engineering output, physics output, society output, and building speed. Improved. Um, but cyborgs are energy credits and minerals plus 5%. So I think we're actually going to pass up on a synthetic. 
I do not have enough influence. God damn. All right. When does this humiliated end? Oh, right. Actually, I was also going to move you guys down here. There we go. Tugum has been terraformed into a uh, tropical world. All right. We'll get that uh, colonized eventually. Let's go ahead and embark all of those guys. Get uh, our titans into the army. Energy credits and minerals. All right. Sure. Let's see. Late medieval age. We'll go with indoctrination. I don't know if we've made any uh, difference... All right, there's a Curator Archaeology Lab. Um, should probably work on some of these. Let's get the uh, lasers real fast. Okay, any changes? Yes! Okay. Very nice. They still have a militarist attraction of 40. Um, only had a 13% attraction to uh, materialist, but uh, oh, that's, uh, that's pretty good. I'm happy about that. I think he was already egalitarian. Vax Kalak societal shift. We have made great strides in ridding the Yaks Kalaki of the superstitions and primitive beliefs that plague their society. They are beginning to see the value of science and rationality. They will thank us one day. Excellent. Of course, now they've got a xenophobe attraction, so that's... Um, Unfortunate. Well, did they have that before? I don't know. I was not paying that much attention. Construction complete. Construction complete. We can upgrade those. We can upgrade that. All right, we got uh, red lasers. There's blue lasers. I'm gonna work my way through the cheaper ones of these. Seven months. All right, uh, minerals, I guess. Minerals and, oh, monthly Garanthium? Sure. Nope, I traded that away apparently. And Zro, eh, well. Construction complete. I need these guys to dock up pretty quick. A 
Are there any planets in here? I don't see any. Research complete. Okay, kinetic battery, excellent. Hmm. Antimatter missiles are fairly cheap. Well, there's not much left to the uh, Order of Pandil there. Let's see. They still only have... Uh, what would happen? Let's see. Declare war. Vassalize the Great Kelnadar Republic, 77. Establish Protectorate, 21. I could do that. I gotta, I gotta fix this uh, energy credit issue, though. I'm gonna turn this into a power place as well. Uh, I got another guy doing nothing. Alright, well, you work on some minerals, at least, until... I figure out something to do with you. Hmm. You better not be thinking about doing something here. Ooh, acceptance minus 11. Friendly attitude and threatened. Okay. That helps. Um, I just got to keep uh, building up uh, ships then. All right, they're almost docked up. We'll call it an episode once uh, once they dock up. So I can see how much that's going to fix my uh, energy issue. It fixes it quite well. <laughs> it fixes it quite well. A 120 point swing is, uh, is that is pretty crazy. Uh, let's see, you are going to do that. And let's swap you there. Since there's nothing there, I'm going to go for the symbol of unity. That can be upgraded. What else can be upgraded? That can. And as can that. Uh, I could build some things here, but I don't really want to yet. Ah, there we go. Now I can get that upgraded and that. I don't think it takes uh, influence anymore to upgrade these. Nope, it does not. That is, that is very helpful. Really glad for that. All right, and when we come back... Uh, actually, build those. Uh, when we come back, we will... Uh, I don't know, seriously think about going to war against these guys. Uh, I would like to vassalize both of them. Uh, well, vassalize these guys, maybe feed this guy into the Jomar Compact, since they're already friendly and everything to me. Although, they are authoritarians and pacifists, but they should still take them, and they are loyal. Um, and then we can work on these guys, getting them vassalized. Although I might wait until uh, I can vassalize them before I do that, just in case I generate some threat. I would rather not generate threat and then make that impossible. Anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and call this an episode here, and when we return, hope that these guys dis don't decide to attack us again, since we are still humiliated. Can I see how long that's going to last? Eh. Still have about a year left, give or take. I mean, a little bit less, but it's kind of a pain. Anyway, 
I'll see you guys next time.